Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a custom or individual scan of the Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition. So if you want to scan a particular file or folder, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to open up the Bitdefender Free Antivirus interface. So there's different ways to open it up. If you go through the start menu and type in Bitdefender, you can access the screen as well as well as if you went down and accessed it through the system tray by viewing hidden processes down here and we see we have a Bitdefender icon and if you right clicked on it and went under show you could open this up as well so you see one of the top things here it says drag and drop any file or folder here to start scanning so if you had any files on the desktop you could just drag and drop them right in so let's say I have this Bitdefender shortcut right here I could literally just drag and drop it right over this and it says release your files or folders to start scanning so I'm going to release it right there and we are all aware that that is just a shortcut file so it shouldn't take too long to scan so if you wanted to run an additional scan let's say we wanted to do the documents folder I'm just going to open up file explorer here just to open up the window and you might notice now we don't have that option to drag and drop a file or so it appears so let's say we want to drag or so let's say we want to drag our documents folder in here so I'm just going to put it somewhere in this interface and again it'll say release your files or folders to start scanning so if you just release your files into this area it'll begin the on-demand scan again so very convenient and again it'll say how many files it scanned and if you click on it one time it'll tell you how many files are scanned how many infected files and whatnot so pretty nice so I hope I was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye